Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the classic rivalries in all of college football. We are getting you ready for the pageantry surrounding the Army-Navy game. At stake, the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Patrick is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Odom from the four. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Gray's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. He tackles him for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. around the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 40, and down he goes to the 38-yard line. before he could get back to the line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, blocking wasn't there, and down he went. From the 41-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 43. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Has time. He's going to air it long. He's tackled right around the two yard line. Tucker's the type of player that any coach would dream to have on their roster. And today could really be historic for him. He's on the verge of breaking a record here. He should be awfully proud of what he's been able to accomplish. He's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Gets 
gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Navy! He makes the PAT. A nice 10 play, 71 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. So our score, seven nothing. And he'll return this one from the seven. Brought down at the 32. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the middle for a nice game. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Patrick to punt. They'll bring him down at the 33. It's been an impressive game by this linebacker, Kirk. I'll tell you what, Brad, this kid is an absolute ball hawk. He seems to be around the football in every play. Well, he's played about as well as anyone can, but he won't care about that if his team goes down to these guys. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. They'll bring him down at the 36. Navy is up by a touchdown. made around the 45 yard line he kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback makes it out to about the 43 i'll tell you what he's pretty nimble for a big guy excellent display of athletic ability And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. He laterals the ball. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 43. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Tyler, he's got a chance to put the defense in great position 
They can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. We played one. Navy in front, 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Two down, two down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the option, and the big guy gets good yardage. the 50. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Pitches back. He makes his way to about the 38. Makes it to the 21. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 24-yard line, second down. He steps out at the 28-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And it's caught. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And they'll take over on downs. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Navy is up seven. Nice run, and he's brought down. He might have a chance. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. He has some room. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Well, this option opens up so many possibilities for big plays like this one, especially when you have a running back as talented as he is. And he adds the extra point.
looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 35. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 33. I got 40, I got 40. Cover, 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 cover. Tackle at the 50-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Fights forward to about the 49. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Navy's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Get to that quickly. That makes it first and ten. He gets rid of this one. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and down he goes at the 41. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And he's hit immediately. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's 
tackle at the 32-yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside blitz coming. Watch out, and he's going to get sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. Now he's scrambling, and he's leveled at the 18-yard line. He's on the run. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the one-yard line. Robinson comes away with five yards on the scramble there. Navy will take their final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks away, and it's good. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 24. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 17 to nothing, Navy. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the ball just to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pavel can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Williams from the two. Tackle made at the 28. Navy's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and the linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. for a loss. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. From the 40-yard line, second down. Herbie, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. He's hit and taken down. They were very fortunate to come up with that pass. Not the smartest throw that he could have made, but it worked. It just makes you a little nervous when he lets that thing go. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. He 
He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 21. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to. He's got him, but he's short of the first down. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He makes his way to about the 28. That's good for the game. That'll make it second in inches. They bring him down in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Some open field. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 44. First down. Here's an opening. Nice run there. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made right around the 40. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and six. And so it's another third down upcoming here. that quickly incomplete yeah anytime a quarterback makes a throw like this the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play the worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback come over tell him it's all right and you move on makes the catch and look out excellent open field tackle that's a team that's on the ball. Yeah, so on the ball. So on the ball. that makes it first and ten Met behind the line. Well, sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are, you're not going to outrun that kind of pursuit. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice gain as he works the right side. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought 
down at the 33-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Makes it out to about the 50. Tackled for a loss. That makes it second and ten. at the 45-yard line. One more quarter to play. 20 to nothing, midshipman. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Now, and the offense is still on the field. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. And down he goes. He's at the 20, inside the 10, and they tackle him at the 5. That makes it first and goal. And he hits him hard at the two. Dropping for a loss. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. bring him down behind the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he's tackled at the 14. Navy's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they've run to the football. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Throws incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 14-yard line. Second down. Oh, 
He's under pressure. And he tackles him hard at the 17. at double zero. They just took too long. Delayed game. Awesome. They'll give this one another try Still after the flag. Down. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From their own 12-yard line. Third down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Just under three to go in regulation. Odom fields at the 44, and down he goes at the 35. Army's defense has not played up to their height, that's for sure. One thing you can always count on from this team is a great defensive performance. I think you and I and everybody today got to be shocked to see these guys and how bad they played on that side of the football. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. He fights forward, 33. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fights forward to about the 30. Tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. That makes us worth an inch. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Defense stacked in tight here. Green nine, green nine. X. And they push him out at the 13-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. go, four, go, four, go, four, go four. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That brings him second and five. score in this one 23 to nothing midshipman let's get kirk herb street's final thoughts on this one herbie what do you got for us navy came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game they should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come between these two teams Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.